Earlier this month, Bennett Academy boys basketball coach Gene Heidkamp set a new milestone by becoming the winningest coach in program history with 368 victories, breaking the record of Bill Geist who helmed the Red Wings from 1969 to 1987. He has only added to the total thanks to a strong 11-0 start to the season. The accomplishment is no surprise to the school, the basketball team, and the athletic department. He wins every year. Uh, and he wins with whatever he gets. And, and that, that's kind of fun to see, um, whether we have big guys, point guards, the whole package. Um, I think he gets the best out of his team every single year. So I, as an athletic department, are we shocked that he got this milestone? No. Um, and, and I can't wait to see what he does with this group this year too. I think I'm just appreciative of all the players and the coaches that I've worked with and the, just the tradition of, of Bennett basketball. and. You know, I didn't get too caught up in it. Uh, it was just one of those things where I've been here for a long time and been, been very lucky to have a lot of really good players. And I think eventually uh, you know, that, that led to you know, getting to that number. It was a bit of a risk when Bennett tapped Heidkamp to take the reins for a retiring Marty Gone in 2008 after tallying a record of 24-57 and 57 at Nazareth Academy. But since the hiring, Heidkamp has rewarded the school's faith in his leadership by winning numerous conference, regional, and sectional titles highlighted by three state runner-up trophies in 2014, 2016, and last season in 2023. He's had the privilege to coach great players in past seasons, but Heidkamp knows it's all about consistency on the court. My goal is just to have a consistent program, to try to be good every year. I don't, I don't set any goals as far as trying to win a state championship or you know, win a certain number of games. It's try to get the most out of every team and try to be good every year. So that, that's pretty much it, it's pretty straightforward. I think the players have definitely made the program. They're the ones that have gotten us to this level. So we've had really good players every year. And it's not just the really good players, like some of the ones that you mentioned, it's also just the regular guys who come to practice every day, give us everything that they have. Our scout team players, guys who maybe don't get as much playing time as they would like, and they contribute every day and they're a huge part of the success of the program. So. What makes Coach Heidkamp's tenure so impressive is being able to field a strong team season after season, even when suffering key losses due to graduation. Last year's runner-up team went 37-2, but graduated four starters. Parker Salaver is the only returning starter, and yet the team is once again among the state's elite with mostly underclassmen and new varsity team members. Salaver credits the culture set by the program's leaders and the expectations set by previous generation of Red Wings for the success on the hardwood. There's so many great teams that um, uh, that have been in the like just in the past and overall course of his career. I mean, I, I mean, it, it does feel nice to be in the time of when it happened, but I recognize the the greater scheme and what it means to be a part of the Bennett basketball community of just all the greatness that came before us. The Red Wings have a lot of work to do if they want to make another run at the 4A state title, but the boys have already been well tested by the likes of St. Pat's, Marist, and a recent overtime thriller against Naperville North. The annual schedule gauntlet will only continue as the Wings take the court in the historic Pontiac Holiday Tournament that features powerhouse teams like Simeon, Bloon Township, New Trier, and Curie, followed by a mid-January clash with Thornton on the Bennett home court. While Coach Heidkamp is happy to continue to add on to his own all-time wins record, the focus is always to get his squads ready to face the challenges down the road on and off the court. I think you just worry about what's in front of you. You know, I don't get too caught up in, in how many games we win or you know, long-term goals for each team. Just more about trying to get better every day and, and try to figure out a way to get, put yourselves in positions that you want to be in in February and March. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cono.